Okay, Twitter poll. If you could stay one age forever, what would it be? What about the age we are right now? Seriously? Sometimes I wish we could just get out of this stupid town together. Check this out. He gets in your head like a virus. Ancient Sumerians said that when you sneeze, a demon leaves your body. That's why I never sneeze. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it wasn't Sumerians, but no. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. We're, you brought me back to a U of a Bowl movie, the one where aliens invade and it's half documentary. I'm at a loss. Do you know anyone know the name? U of a Bowl movie? The Fourth Kind, maybe? Uh, he didn't direct The Fourth Kind. Who did? Somebody with an African name? Uh, that was a really joking bitch. I remember she was in that. It was the alien movie. A lot more shitty, but not <laughs> as shitty as this movie. I'll uh, uh, tell you that. Um, yeah. Let's get... Uh, get what's it called? The, what's the Naomi Watts movie? Rings. Let's get Ring. Ring the Ring mixed with yeah, every shitty horror movie you've ever yeah, seen this, in this, the last ten years. This movie hits uh, every single cliche. And still nothing happens throughout yeah. the entire thing. You've, you've got the, you know, classic uh, girl who's got it all figured out and no one understands her, no one listens to her. And so she's, and they go into her room eventually and everything's like, <laughs> you know, uh, taped to the wall and everything. She had a Mary, um, yeah. like a Mary Light, the Virgin Mary Light. And mm -hmm. I thought that's yeah. kind of odd for a teenage girl. She looks like... A lot of hipster things. Is you know. she the daughter... Of the ant from Breaking Bad. I swear to God, she looks just like a little mini her. Yeah. But nonetheless, the uh, lead girl looked a bit like a boy. The black girl looked a bit like she could have been 30. <laughs> yeah. And the, the redhead, she wasn't in long enough to really make an impact. No. There's, there's definitely a few kids, like, in the classrooms that look like... They're super old. <laughs> like they're, yeah, like they're in their 30s. Which was very strange. Aside from that, everybody looked pretty age-appropriate, I guess. I'd bet the lead actresses were probably early 20s at the latest. Aside from that one black girl, which I just mentioned. Um, in case you guys are wondering, the film is called The Slender Man. <laughs> just Slender Man. Slender Man, pardon Slender me. Slender Man. It, um, let's just strap together another shitty horror movie and then call her a day, huh? Yeah, it's um, it's it's just depressing because, like, you could have you could have done something with um, we could have if you gave us. Did, did you notice that the lighting was super super dark? Dark. You couldn't see anything. Thing. You couldn't see people's faces. Yeah. Another trope for shitty horror movies of our time is yeah, they're showing us they're at the library or they're on the computer. They just show us a half a second of what they're reading. If you want me to read what's on the screen, give me time to read it. Yeah, well, it's a, it's like a classic case of uh, we need to be scary. We need to have the ambiance. And so their their idea of scary is, hey, let's just um, let's just make it so nobody can see anything. <laughs> You can't see nothing, see and when you thing. can, it's fucking cutting every half second. Yeah, it's, um, it's really bad. This is going to be the worst podcast ever because <laughs> while we're saying all this, I cannot guarantee that I'll remember specifics. All right, let's start with the plot. What exactly, um, what sets it off here exactly? Well... These uh, these three, uh, the four girls. The boys. The boys are doing it. We're gonna do it now. Yeah. So the movie starts out. They're down in the basement of one of the girls' alcoholic fathers because, of course, you know you gotta have, you know, the cliches of, of one of the girls has to have an alcoholic father. Well, you have to. Of She's gotta want to get out of town. Yeah. Get out of dodge. And they're all watching uh, POV porn. Uh, from the women's perspective, and so they're. Um, I've never really thought of that. Like. Yeah. If chicks, do you when you watch porn, like I don't know, would that be something that interests you? I mean, I could I guess so. if you want to, if you're down with that, and the comments are good, I could produce something. Yeah, they got. To... <laughs> yeah, you're all about helping the ladies out. Carl Hungus, that's what they'll call me. 
Carl Hunt. So they're all watching uh, uh, POV porn. Which, it's PG-13, so I'm just going to show that. anything. But uh, then... They don't even... Shit, we don't even hear anything. They no. talk about it, and then two seconds later, we're on to Slenderman videos. Yeah. That escalated quickly, was yeah. my thought. They went from porn to watching Hey, you guys want to watch a demon video? You want to watch a video that summons a... You guys want to summon demons tonight instead of watching pornography? I'd prefer it if they just started making out or something. Yeah, of yeah, course, if were, they were overage. You were, you were waiting for that. <laughs> There was this of one age. point where her um her age, yeah, you want some sixty year old her uh her her <laughs> wannabe boyfriend, the boyfriend the dude who she likes really gone all over the place. Do you wanna <laughs> do you wanna you wanna come and hang out Friday night? You wanna and my place? fuck? That was my thought. As soon as he said, Do you wanna hang out on Friday? He had this yeah. little smirk and his very yeah. next thought was if he ca if it was rated R he would have said and just fuck. Just fuck. Yeah, but uh Lilio in and out. <laughs> and of course he has to have one of the Letterman jackets on because he's on the football team, guys. We saw <laughs> we saw the name of the school on his jacket for a split second. I want yeah. to make a note of it, but I couldn't catch uh, it. It's I, like Winstone, Winston. Yeah, I, I can't rem remember what it is. They had a um, traveling a week in advance title card, but only one. <laughs> oh, really? Right yeah. after the redhead. Uh, yeah, one week later. Is yeah, Ren, is, uh, what is Ren a name short for? Someone in the comments, help me out. Her name was spelled W R E N. The oh. girl who looked like Little Ant from Breaking Bad, who was also in The Conjuring, which I realized about three quarters. Yeah, The Conjuring Two, I think. She was in. Nah, the first one. She was the daughter. Really? Do you remember? Sure, um, she's sitting on the bed. She's, she's sitting on the oh, bed. Oh, it's the same. No, it's not the same. Thing. And then she says, "What does she say?" He said he wants my family dead. That girl. I, I swear it's her. I know she was in Wish Upon, which I saw last year. Wish Upon? Which, yeah, that was a horror movie. It was basically like the monkey's paw, where they find this... I don't even remember hearing about it. Yeah, it was absolutely hilarious. It was it was one of those really so bad it was enjoyable horror movies. This is not that at all. I want to make that... No, this was gay. incredibly boring. Nothing, yeah, was... like, I, like I said before, Slender Man, nothing happened. You, yeah. um... Oh, you're right. She was in the first Conjuring. Yep. She was her name's one of Joey daughters. King. Yep. I told you. For some reason, I thought she was the the youngest sister in Conjuring too. They, but, you uh, know, nope. little pale, fucking brown haired yeah, white girl. Together. They all look the same. <laughs> all look the same. All these little white girls. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the picture? Uh, yeah, it, it was truly miserable. Just, just absolutely miserable. Just really boring. Yeah, super boring, and you know. It's I, I could never recommend this to anybody. Like like honestly, unless even if you, you are love a, horror, unless you are like that, I wouldn't say I'd say skip it. Even if you love Slender Man, you're just gonna be disappointed. Like this is just trash, pure trash. And uh, it's it's just it's so bizarre. Like I don't know what the budget was for this movie. Yeah, it's uh, it's it. This is this is really rough. Like this is easily for me the worst horror movie I've seen all this year. Like, not even close. Like, I may have to agree really with you. Bad. I haven't really watched that many. Um, Truth I mean, that came out this Hereditary. year. Yeah. Other than that. Yeah, I saw Winchester. Uh, I thought was, that was awful, Winchester. Oh, Winchester was terrible. But it was way better than this. And that was shit. That was real shit, too. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, and Insidious, The Last Key, I enjoyed. Uh, I'm trying to think of... I, I might have... Saw another oh, horror was, movie. I was gonna say the but, other uh, the other Annabelle movie, but that was like two years ago, probably. Annabelle Creation. Yeah, this is. Uh, oh yeah, I saw Unfriended Dark Web, which was that was way better than this. Like way. And that better. I find incredibly hard to believe. It is it because is. it's I, not a horror movie. That's why it's it's just a thriller. What and, um? What's the draw in it? Like, there's some society trying to capture them or something. Yeah, it's just it's just the dark web thing of where they. Uh, I don't want to get it. We there's like there's a dark web person. The, they this guy discover steals, them after. The, the guy steals a. Uh, I got a laptops in a lost and found, yeah. and a guy takes it because he needs a new computer, and it was belonged to a guy who was involved with really shady shit. And they uncover that, and then that, that kind of jumps the plot off. But that was that was way fucking better than that, and and, and it was shit. It was also yeah. shit. So um, yeah, because this doesn't doesn't even have this movie 
does not have like one sequence where I want. Oh yeah, okay, that was. I mean, I kind of liked um, really? at first, at first um, at, towards the end, I can't remember exactly now, but I was like, okay, this is at least something. Some like, of, like um, imagery in the woods or something. Maybe when she got transported to the woods, was she in like a bathroom and then like the room starts shaking and then? Oh, when it was just. <laughs> flipping forward and stuff. Maybe that. Yeah, there, there's definitely some experimental uh, like just kind of editing and moving in and out, but it's been done Whoa, before. Yeah, yeah, movies. yeah. Like Absolutely. And know, it actually had a point in the other yeah. movies. They did it for meaning. Yeah, like, like you mentioned before, movies like, you know, Jacob's Ladder. Uh, there's a really good movie called The Jacket with Adrian Brody. The reason why I mentioned Jacob's Ladder in theater was because there was a moment where Shaky Head you know that where the camera is yeah. destabilized and also the person's head is shaking yeah. back and forth that thing just, and I, that was the one scene where everybody in the theater called everyone in our theater laughed it was yeah. it was great yeah that was that was the one really where we all bonded together <sighs> other than that we movie. were really on the same page throughout the whole movie no well, i was just i was chuckling here you were kind of going there it was it was just miserable it's just a miserable. We we're film. both. We were each grasping at our own subconscious straws, trying to find something about this. Enjoyable. Yeah, there was just multiple times where I just had to kind of rest my head and my hands and, and just it's kind just of breathe. This is another <laughs> one where it's just it's so you it's so generic, it's so tropey, it's so cliche filled. It's like yeah. we could go over and over the specific scenes, but it's I can't really remember many of them well that's the thing it's and it just slips right out it's yeah. just so boring who fucking cares yeah it's it's shockingly boring and there's i noticed like there there's a lot of like almost slow motion to like drag out the runtime it was, was it seeing. was like sort of three or four second chunks though yeah it'd be like but there's a they build up it'd be like her yeah. turning and just walking and yeah and, is just a lot of nothingness scenes that are supposed to, I guess, build tension, but there's no tension. At this all. sort of flashing screen, a lot of, um, not a lot of jump scares, maybe one or two. Yeah, it's not too bad. <clears> but the jump scares, scares were fine. Um, yeah. A lot of sort of the hyper cutting, I like to call it, like. First, we're on this image of a tree's root spreading, then pig with fucking flies all over it. Right. But this was PG 13, so we got nothing that good. It was yeah. just weird triangles and stuff yeah i was like oh wait hold wait are we doing an illuminati thing like what the they fuck going on? what they should have done was <laughs> more into the lore spend less time with these kids just yeah. these kids are just vessels for the story you know what that's, i mean that's the thing is that we should have spent way more time just yeah learning about slender man you, you pay, slender man slowly creeping into their lives you paid for the rights of slender man you paid for the rights of fucking google and you don't fucking write a good script you don't try i mean like creepypasta the website that slender man is on there it's, are just yeah, vivid they, yeah. fucking stories because there's rich. people because these people aren't they they care about the story yeah. that they're writing you know yeah, these people who wrote this they don't give a shit no they like all uh, right we got we got no horror movie for august let's get some shit together yeah and and i'll say like this feels like a fucking january horror was movie. this a bloom house no no it wasn't I don't know. That's Sony right. put it out. Sony. Sony and a couple other nameless, not nameless, but I can't remember the yeah. name, production studios. Yeah, and I'll say that there's a few more things that piss me off about this that I'll get into. Uh, why couldn't they just have an actor play Slender Man and have a weird, like, you know, practical effect face of just like, you know, like It was clay. all computer. Oh, yeah. I think maybe one it scene... It was super dark. I couldn't tell because it was always nah. super dark when he was there. It, it was definitely CG. It's certainly at least a lot of the parts were because, like, the time, the part I, where, like, tarantula legs sprout out from uh, all his clothes yeah, and he rises 12 feet. Yeah, terrible. that's definitely, and definitely it's, CG. And it's weird because I thought for sure Slender Man had a red tie. I thought that he always has, like, a red tie. Now that you say that, I didn't think of that, but now that you say that, it sounds like it's... Pretty sure could be a possibility. Man has a red tie. Maybe they didn't get the rights to Slender Man. Well, I heard that they were getting sued. Actually, that uh, the person who copyrighted yeah, I've heard, Slender Man. Yeah, I heard that there's um, that they are being sued. This movie, but I guess they they got deserve the, to be by me as well. Yeah. well. I guess he doesn't have a red tie. I'm looking at images, I thought for sure he did, but I guess not. Anything else besides red ties and uh, you know? 
CG Slenderman. Uh, yeah, yeah, CG Slenderman sucks, but also, man, Slenderman in this movie, he is really tech-savvy, isn't he? Yeah, that was really <laughs> kind of bizarre. Um, he's just, he hacks into everybody's phone. <laughs> he's like, when he, f the f there's two times it happens, when he happens upon the girls that he's going to abduct, he like, they get a phone, vo video message. It's the outside of their yes. house. They look outside. Oh, nobody's there. It's moving forward. Nobody's there still. It's coming forward. Now it's in the house. And then he grabs you from behind. Yeah, and it's just lame. Like, she'll be watching, like, herself in her phone and and being like, oh, my God, Slenderman's in there and in her phone and in, and, and in the room. And it's like, what, what the fuck is Try running or something? Like, what are we doing here? You know, that's what Killing I kept time. thinking. What are we doing? I kept thinking, what is going on? Why is this happening? The girl, spoilers for anyone who cares. The girl at the end, here's what happens when Slenderman gets you. He turns you into a tree. He absorbs you into a tree, yeah, which, which is not that. In, well, it it's okay. not great. I thought, um, it was okay. I, I thought it was like he brought you to like this weird other, the spirit world, the further, you know, whatever you want to call it. The sort of other side of our dimension, if you, whatever. Puts you right into the tree. Nope, you become a tree. And, and that's like the, the lady from God, like the kid from Goddamn Troll 2. Uh, I haven't seen Troll 2. Oh my God! Yeah, I gotta get on that. Anybody who hasn't seen Troll 2 needs to watch I, that I can get it. I just, I, I'm trying to get a hold of the documentary to see with it. Fuck the pretty, documentary. The best worst movie. I want to see that with it. So. Um, apparently everybody who's in it thinks they thought that, like, it made him a big star or something. Yeah. It was kind of, um, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, uh... Oh, I haven't seen a lot of the, there. um, so bad they're good movies. Like, I never saw I, Battlefield I don't really, Earth. I, I, I try to avoid that stuff for the most part. It's but it's just, just, sometimes... I try not to They go really on. hit. Yeah, sometimes they're really good. But, you know, this is... This is one of those cases where it really doesn't hit. <laughs> they threw it together so that your teens could watch something. Yeah, now, it works, man. The whole fucking theater was filled with the teeny boppers. Nah. They were all flooded in there. And, uh, like, five, two, four, or five-year-olds for yeah. some reason. And, yeah, through the whole movie, they kept saying, It's Slender Man. It's Slender Man. It's Slender Man. It's Slender Man. See, at first, I thought maybe they just snuck in but then i saw an old grandma woman. Yeah, yeah grandma sitting beside them yeah which I and she mean, kept she kept yelling at the kids to stop talk. well it was just one kid it was one of them. just one of them the other, the other kid was behind. i immediately we were seated right behind them i knew the uh prog i could prognosticate what this experience was going to be so it's like all right i'm just gonna leave i went like four or five rows back yeah i could still hear them kind of lot. that was a lot it was a lot better yeah I eventually went back to. I just, I was just like, you know what? Let's let's just make this a little less worse for me. Yeah. <laughs> I just because the movie certainly did not help us out in any substantial way. Yeah, and it's 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 there's so many just like random things too. Like when when the girl goes into the bathroom and she's trying to like throw up, and all of a sudden she's pregnant and there's like these yeah, spikes what shooting the out. But why? It's just like it's just what the fuck moment. It's just like whatever. We're just throwing this he's, weird shit. He's impregnated not only her mind but her body now. Yeah. <laughs> and it's it's weird too, is because like towards the end of the film when like the tree grabs the girl. Um, it, it was very reminiscent of Evil Dead, kind of all of the like, yeah. Tree, like, I was like, yeah. Okay, that's an Evil Dead. I didn't homage. put that together, but immediately yeah. I was like, "This is very Evil Dead." Did you get any other, um, you know, any other movies in there aside uh, from Ring? Yeah, I, I can see what you're saying with the Ring. I definitely only saw, that first part, the first video they watched. After well, that, it wasn't so. Anytime much. there's like that flashy shit on the screen, yeah. like when they were in the classroom cutting open the eyeball and then all of a sudden we're just getting these fucking ferocious flashes but uh also like there's a lot of loose ends like the girl's boyfriend yeah like what I was happened gonna to him? i was gonna ask you about that but what i forgot what happened to him like you see he the has a black girl she's insane but we never hear of her again until after we yeah. see her and we never really know what happens to any of them except for the main girl who we see become a tree so, well, we can infer we can infer they all became trees, but you know we don't so see it. It's she not just became to. a tree to save her sister, and that's the only person that was saved is his sister. Yeah. The pro another big problem with this movie is 
they set up all these rules and ideas, but they all well, mean nothing. That's the thing I would disagree with. I don't think they set up any rules. Like, what, I mean, they, how does Slender Man work? What are his powers? That's what I mean. How can he connect you? Yeah. He can just fucking... He can just go like a shadow I underneath mean, the like, door. In the beginning you know when I mean? she's like, um... She's like, uh... What does she say? Oh, you Give it keep something you... Keep your eyes yeah. closed. Give it something yeah. you love. Which that stuff is interesting, you know, sort of. Like, but they know, get banded it really quick because the one girl, um, Chloe, she freaks out and just runs away and looks at him immediately. It was funny because, like, as this was happening, because she's the black girl. Yeah. I immediately was like, oh, okay, they're going to kill the black girl first. Old tropes. We're going with cliches and tropes. You like, might as well go with the oldest. They're going to kill the black girl first, but they, they, they don't kill her. She just Well, we don't insane. know. She does go insane, well, but we don't know what happens to her after the that. the first one that disappears, remember? Does, uh, I left briefly after that. Does anything happen with that, or they just no. talk about it? That's, a, that's another just kind of loose on. It's just like... And also, why are these girls all recording themselves in the woods, like, like with their phones extended perfectly, so that you can always see who... Like, they're just walking through the woods. Because they hired a professional cameraman to record their jaunty adventures in the woods. Come on. It's like they're, they're making reaction videos of themselves walking through the woods. Yeah, it's like, what the fuck? Well, the one girl, they're doing that, but, like, why are you recording yourself? Wouldn't you be... Exactly. That's what I'm your saying. camera? Yeah. Like, why is that the case? It's just so people can see, like, oh, she brought my sister into the woods. Yeah. You know, it's like, what the fuck? I thought that was really dumb, too. Oh, God. Um, it's just an absolute train wreck. It just fundamentally, if your film isn't... If I can't see things on screen... Maybe just get a flashlight or something. <laughs> yeah. Anything, anything is better than nothing, really. Yeah. Well, well, that's the thing. Is like, uh, there's another cliche is when the girl goes into the library because, of course, you got to have spooky shit happen yeah. in a library. And I'm also in that in that moment, I'm wondering, okay, what is the reality of this? Because the girl like slips into some reality where yeah. she's in the staircases. I knew that was gonna happen though. But then all of a sudden she gets out of it and the librarian's right there. She's like, Oh, are you okay? She runs into her. And it's like, well, well what could happen to her if the librarian's right there? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well like, it, how does this it work? happened with all the other ones too, like uh this sister. When the sister's in the hospital and she has her bad dream and then yeah. she has another bad dream inside her bad dream. We're incepting and the, now. And the thing is is like also, like, is Slender Man actually, like, really kind of there in the moment? Because when you see the black girl in her room, she's Slender Man is choking her. But then you look in the mirror, and, and he's she's, not there. She's choking herself. Yeah. Like, yeah. wait, what the fuck? How is how is that? I, how does that work? It's either he no is coming it. through from his world, or he's like sort of like the what's it called, the Stranger Things theory, where it's like. There's another world on top of ours, maybe. Right, yeah. and he's, I hear what you're saying, but it doesn't make sense with what the other movie yeah. shows. Because it's like, okay, we see she's choking herself. But then later in the movie, we see Slender Man has now be become able to possess the trees and grab you. Yeah. And it's like, okay, well, how does this work? How did the original girl disappear? She's looking in the woods, and then all of a sudden it cuts to them waiting... Yeah, he that's what happened. Put her into a tree, I guess, right into the woods, the, the red-headed girl. No, nothing scary about this in no. the least bit. And, and the thing about it is, is like, I, I, I think to myself and I go, okay. Like, what a wonderful if, world it would be <laughs> right. if Hollywood was run by me. <laughs> I think, I think you know, I go like, okay, if the kids weren't there saying, okay, it's Slender Man, it's Slender Man. Could I have ever gotten any tension out of this movie? No. <laughs> no. No. Exactly. There's, there's, there's just nothing. It's terrible. I thought um, at first that the star was gonna have to, at the end, sacrifice her sister. They threw me a curveball there. Well, that's another thing. It's like I didn't know who the lead of the movie was. I knew it was that girl. Really, you did? I there was some questions huh. because the other girl talked a lot more. Yeah. She had a lot of sort of equal, a little I, less screen time, yeah. but. She talked a lot more, but everything focused on... She's the only one who we ever saw a sibling or parent of, aside from the Alki. Right, yeah. And that was so weird at the beginning. The alcoholic dad. Breaking into the house. Who just totally disappears. Yeah. Like, he breaks into their house. He's like, you do, where's my daughter? She went where's into this daughter? occult shit until you, got, until you brought her into it. Yeah, and then... I'll he leave did, now, and, though. Yeah, well, then they put him in the cop car, and then he's like, you stay away from my daughter! You stay away from my daughter! 
And then they <laughs> went back to the house, though. So we see them one more time. They go to the house to investigate the girls. Oh, yeah, that was awful. Yeah. That was terrible. I was just laughing out loud because she's I like thought she was trying to. Dad. Yeah, I thought she was trying to fucking fuck him, too. <laughs> There's a lot of fuck me eyes in this movie, um, which, I mean, is kind of strange. Oh, yeah, we should get into the... <laughs> of course, the fucking jock has this gigantic fucking record collection from his dad. Yeah. And he's fuck- I, I I was so pissed off at that. Yeah. I was so fucking vehemently pissed. It sounds better, man. Uh, no, I know, but I'm just like, I'm like, are you fucking kidding me right now? Like the director, he's got these fucking young little teeny boppers. Yeah. And they, okay. they fucking, they got all their fucking records. And, he, and the song was dope. I don't know what the fuck the song was, but I, it sounded um, good. I'm willing to bet it's an original composition. It sounded really good, but uh, it was It was just, sort of a guitar-y, just riff. Yeah, it no was just vocals. like chill jam music, you know? And, uh, you know... He's just like fucking making out with this chick, and you're just like, Give you know me a what's fucking break. Do you know that's Give the one thing break, about that? Dude. It was never that easy. Maybe I would no. know I wasn't a jock. I was a heavy sad man, but <laughs> heavy sad boy. <laughs> but all he does is turn on the record, sit right next to her. He's like, you, you and sound good. It's you on. Put something else on. She's like, no, this is good. And then just immediately, game on. Fucking ready to go into the bone zone. <laughs> in the in the um. <laughs> comments should i have done more ab exercises in my youth would it that have been would have that have been the equation on? more often would it have just been you want to listen to a record yeah let me put on some marvin gay baby <laughs> what's going on right, let's get it on man get it right fuck yeah that was the joke what's, what? that's the joke obviously it's a let's get it on the joke is if i do what's going, what's on, going on then she gets all confused are we gonna fuck or are we talking are we, about, are we talking about black vietnam? injustice or something are we talking here? about vietnam Talking about Vietnam? Are we talking about fucking? Are we talking about AIDS? Are we talking about AIDS? <laughs> are we talking about AIDS? I watched Outbreak yesterday. <laughs> Not a great film. You uh, you want to go into final ratings? Yeah, Outbreak about a four and a half. <laughs> the fucking the cast was dynamite. Two halves now. Two and a half, huh? Only for <laughs> Outbreak. Only for Dustin Hoffman films. Half a point for Dustin Hoffman. For Slenderman, as it will be <laughs> known further henceforth. Slenderman. Slenderman gets. What's my lowest rating thus far? Three. This one gets two. Yeah. yeah. Um, if not for the lighting, I would give it a three or a four. But Oof. Oof. the How lighting was just four? so Oof. bad. Because you know I can appreciate shitty movie, Oof. even if how shitty it is. Oof. Yeah. To um, dos. Yeah. This is this is really awful. Uh, uh, this is this is legitimately. On every filmmaking aspect, like one of the worst movies of the year for sure, and um, it's it's tough because I don't know if Beirut pissed me off more. <laughs> this, I mean, Beirut is better than this, but it's still horrific shit. Um, but uh, yeah, I uh, it's tough because you do kind of understand the plot, so it's like, can I really give this a one? I mean, I want to, but I, I I'm just gonna give it a two. Yeah. It's it's a two. It really is. It's it's awful. Yeah. Um, apparently, there was a person playing. Um, I wonder. I saw his name in the credits. I was like, "Who was that?" Yeah, but I'm sure. I'm sure they CGI'd over him. That's the thing. Yeah. I think they completely CG over him. They Up do that. Here. They'll have someone stand on set with the mocap and fucking CG over him. This currently has an 11 on Rotten Tomatoes. I just want to see who the director. If the director's done anything else, I've heard of. Um, a Frenchman made this. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's why it was so experimental. It's big John Luke the Dark. The fan. Losers, Stomp the Yard. Um, I'll always know what you did last summer. That happened. Yeah, it must have went straight to video. 2006 direct to video, yeah. the third and final installment. <laughs> that had nothing to do with the other two. <laughs> uh, I would hope so. Honestly, yeah. I can't even remember the first two. I, I actually, it's funny that you bring it up because I really wanted to rewatch them recently. I, just, I rewatched Scream not too long ago. It's it holds up. It's a yeah, solid movie. I've always really liked Scream. The beginning is so good. Yeah, Drew Barrymore, fantastic. But um, yeah, if I was doing a Slender Man movie, the first thing I would think would be, I'm gonna read up on this, learn everything see, you can, see the stories. Uh, I'm going to have a real like practical effect Slender Man, yes. obviously, and. Um, Focus much more on the lore, 
like like the that or just on war. Slender Man itself. I don't give a fuck about these fucking stupid ass girls. I don't give a fuck about Tom. Just give me give me that Slender Man shit. See, see, that's that's one way of going at, and I think that's a big problem in Hollywood. Like with like Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the Thirteenth, they just focus on the mascot, yeah. and you have to have good characters. Yeah. Like the reason why people like Na- uh, Nightmare on Elm Street is because of Nancy. You like Nancy. The reason why people like a lot of the the later Friday the Thirteenth is because of Tommy Jarvis. The reason why you like Halloween is because of you know Laurie Strode. Um, well, know. here's the thing. Except for the first one, Laurie Strode like is in none of them. And all the other Halloween sequels are shit. I kind of like um. H two O has Laurie Strode. In I kind of like the fourth but... one. The cur- with the a little return girl. of Michael Myers or the curse the return of the Michael return Myers for yeah yeah um, yeah so it's uh, I, I think you got to focus on characters good characters and the lore because well, you can't it, just show Slender Man to the whole movie it depends what you're what you're trying to do this kind of movie I go the ring eight millimeter not eight millimeter I'm way off that, with that, that. That's, Eight millimeter is what I was going to bring up with uh, with Unfriended Dark World. There's a couple. <laughs> I could. That couple, was, that's what made. That's what made me think of it. I think there's earlier. A, there's a couple scenes in that where I was like, "Wow, there is such a good like nugget here." Are you recommending Unfriended Dark World? No. Okay. No. No. I just want to get that on the record. It's way better than the first one. <laughs> it's not saying much. No, it's not. <laughs> what I want to do with this, my Slender Man picture is, uh young college student one maybe he's lonesome maybe he has a girlfriend maybe he has one other friend i don't want the friends really in it at all he finds this book he finds this video he finds this picture book right now he's in the world (laughs) now he's got to figure out what's going on now we figure out what's going on and we're in the world this it's yeah, like, oh, let it be a journey. Like, the yeah. audience is, like, the voyeur with them. They're discovering it This, with them. every scene, the ultimate conclusion is Slender Man is going to get you. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, and so just some exposition gets thrown at you. Like, like, I hate it when they do this in fucking movies. It's like, the girl goes on the computer, and it's got the fucking, all the missing children. And it's like, yeah, I'll yeah. give me a fucking break. I like when they do that, break. but they give you actual information, not two seconds on screen, zoom, ferocious, violent killer. Next yeah. screen. I mean, it can Satanic be done. Satanic rituals. can be done good. But this is just an yeah. example of it being done terribly. Yeah, being done poorly. Yeah. So I uh, like it where if you put that, you do that, give me time to read it. Give me time to understand what you're showing me here. Don't yeah. just try to subconscious me into fucking and, fright. And the thing is, is that, like, they could have done a different version of the, the Slender Man story. They could have done the true story, the, the true crime story, which happened. I don't know if you heard about the two girls... Yeah, were obsessed with in Slender Wisconsin, Man, and they brought their friend out into the woods. They tried to fucking stab they her. They stabbed death. her. They stabbed her a whole bunch of times. They left her out there, and the girl fucking crawled, she fucking, bleeding she to survived. death, like a mile, just to fucking get to somebody. Their own. Um, she survived. Yeah. Their goal. They did a doc on it. I'm pretty I, sure. It's seriously, on, I think it might be on Netflix. I might check it out. But their yeah. goal was, if they they thought that if they sacrificed someone to Slender Man, he would welcome them into yeah. his mansion in the woods, his yeah. kingdom in the woods. Yeah, he would. Uh, I didn't like them. the woods. I liked it if no. she goes through the gate, changes, becomes like a different world. That would have been. That yeah, would have helped see, me a little the bit. The gate was interesting. The imagery. Of I the did gate like that. That's some. Since you bring it up, and I forgot that I yeah. liked something about. It. I did like imagery that imagery, that. but once she crosses through the gate. It's just the same on the other side. Yeah. It's like it kind of reminded me of that movie you told me about on Netflix. Beyond that's the what I wrote down Beyond in my notes Gates. to remember to watch, which later. was cool and uh, which is a fun little. It's it's a super cheap little horror movie. Yeah. Cool horror. I mean, if you want to, would you say at least a good movie? Oh yeah, the like, solid, a nice it. little hour and a half movie. Yeah, it's to watch. not the greatest acting. They had a very very low budget, but it, it's it does something. It was enjoyable. Aside from cin- some cinematography and acting, if I remember, it was a nice, yeah, solid it's, ride. It's very low budget, so they do was on Netflix. And, I can't quite say yeah, if it is now I for sure. Yeah, I don't know if it's on there now, but uh, it was it was enjoyable. That's I kept thinking of that because of the. I would have rather had those filmmakers had the money and made Slender Man than fucking yeah. that shit. You know, it's and that's the thing. It's, it's like there's so many talented people out there. Why don't 
you give them the property? Why are you giving this fucking hack fuck who made Stomp the Yard? You know, he just like, directed it. I doubt he had any real creative say. I doubt the writer probably had any real creative say, except for, all right, spit us out a teen horror movie about Slender, about a skinny guy in the woods who eats kids. Yeah. Where's a suit? No face. Yeah, I, I just, I, I mean, maybe this will make money. I, I, I don't foresee it, but. There was a lot of people in our, in our fucking crowd. A lot of teams. I mean, relatively. How many would you say um, all together? Um, I'd guess... Like 35, maybe? Yeah. It's a lot more. I was going to guess 20. Mm. Yeah. If not, somewhere in between there, probably. I, I thought we were honestly going to be like maybe four of us in there. Like, I, like the, the projection that's what I was. That's what I like, thought, and that's what I was hoping too. Yeah. So we could fucking mystery science theater and shit. We got, we did a little bit, sort of back and forth. Yeah, I try but not to be an asshole. About yeah, that. yeah no, especially since we're not the only motherfuckers in this yeah, place. So, just a comment here, a comment there. Yeah. Can we fuck now? <laughs> so, like, can we, um, can we fuck now? <laughs> can I put my ram my dick into you, like? At this moment, yeah. I got this uh, this Credence record. <laughs> I was playing the Credence, huh? Damn, that's what I do. Yeah, I gotta get that CCR. <laughs> I see a bad moon. I will say that the the demon sneeze infection uh, rose throughout the theater. Yeah, everyone slowly started, started, started sneezing. It started with me. I exercised the first demon. And the little child in front who was talking about the Slender Man, he exercised his demon. <laughs> and then the people sitting right next to us, and then the people sitting right next to Behind them. Behind us. <laughs> this is how it begins. Truth or Dare wasn't lying. I did get shades of Truth or Dare with the whole virus. Upload Me too. the curse. <laughs> okay, oh my God. It's just like a virus. It that infects your mind. I... Oh my god. It's like a computer virus. I was like, this is like an old person. It affects your hard drive. She said those, that was the exact quote. It's like a yeah. computer virus. It accepts your heart and infects your hard drive, except your hard drive is your mind. Yeah. Fucking A. Terrible. Don't ever see it. Don't ever see it. All right. Any other uh... recommendations? I would say. Read or watch that doc about those two girls from Wisconsin. And check out um, Channel Zero, which is uh, a show on sci-fi, which they license um, a story from Creepypasta, and they do an anthology series. It's like six episodes. Like, it's not the greatest, but it's it's pretty decent. for you know, Since we're talking about anthology horror series, we're going to go with Showtime's own Masters of Horror each episode, an anthology series featuring a different director and writer team for each film. John Carpenter did one. Toby Hooper did one. Casey Mika did one that was banned. <laughs> Which one was his? Uh, was it in Japan? Feudal Japan or anything? I can't, I can't remember. Alright, never mind. Um, you know, a shit ton of well, really respected Barry Gordon directors and writers yeah. made it. My personal favorite episode is the one that John Carpenter Cigarette did, Burns. Cigarette Burns. Yeah, and, and the thing with Carpenter is that his vision for Halloween was he never wanted there to be sequels to it. He just wanted there to be, um, the, each entry would be anthology. an anthology. That's, That's why I still on haven't Masters seen the Horror. whole third. Well, you haven't seen Season of the Witch? No. Yeah, I've seen parts of it as when I was a kid. I really, really did not like it. Yeah, when did you watch it, though? I just watched it maybe two mm. months ago. Okay. Really, I love really that character. I like that, that actor. From Night of the Creeps. The cop from Night of the Creeps. I've never seen Night of the Creeps. It's fucking incredible. If you love The Blob 88, you will love Night of the Creeps. It's I'm just fantastic. trying to find the episode that fucking Takashi... Takashi Mika. Takashi Mikaris. <laughs> Not even close. Um, episodes. Let's see. Incident off. Uh, since I'm reading it, I'll give you all the episodes I can remember. Incident on and off Mountain Road. Pretty good. Uh, which dreams of witch house? <sighs> Not great. Imprint. It's called. Dance the dead sucked. Jennifer was good. Yeah, it was the thirteenth episode. Thirteenth. It, it was taken off the air because it was too. Uh, they never showed it because it was too. Um, it's too grotesque for them. But it was on the DVD. 
Yeah, it's called Imprint. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, I don't remember it being too crazy. The guy who was in, who uh, offed himself by jerking off while hanging himself was in it. Carradine. David Carradine? Yeah. I'm sure it wasn't his brother, Keith Carradine. Maybe. <laughs> I don't Keith know. Keith Carradine is uh, alive and well. Well, which one hung himself? Uh, David Carradine, who was in... Um... Kill Bill. Yeah. No, nah, that's not the same guy. It's just a different guy. Billy Drago? Yeah, that's the uh, bad guy, uh, the man in white from The Untouchables. You know, you're right. Why was I thinking it was him? Anyways. Because he had, in, in that scene, he had long hair. And yeah. He usually doesn't. It kind of looks like David the Void. All right. We'll uh. go uh, Beyond the Gates. The acting. <laughs> heard, yeah. I know. But I didn't say, we didn't, it wasn't officially in the recommendation section. There is, there's a, there's a fucking organization and rules behind this game, motherfucker. Motherfucker. Beyond the Gates, like we said, it's super cheap. The cinematography and the acting is not great. It's bad, frankly. It, the acting's passable, I think. Passable. It's passable. But it's not, like I said, not, not good. great. Not good. not good. For sure. An interesting story, like these guys, they find this VHS board game yeah. and it turns out that Maybe that it is a real realm, a slender ominous. dimension. Yeah. You yeah. Know. I remember liking the music in it. Did what? Oh, <laughs> never mind. I don't even want to go <laughs> down that rabbit hole. In the Sylvester Stallone Street. <laughs> um, don't conjure up Slender Man. Not in your homes, not in your theaters. Nowhere. Let it die. <laughs> Unless you guys want to give me a crack at it. Or um, my friend Hidalgo Rivera, who's sitting beside me, in case you guys couldn't guess. Um, you know. Make sure to sneeze. Make sure you sneeze. Get out all them demons. I never sneeze. <laughs>